welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. Uh, welcome to the show. Uh, today is going to be hopefully a really, really good show. So I want to start out by saying hello to my um, brother, Stevie. I hope you're having a great day. I also want to um, let you know that on any social media platform, um, no matter what platform it is, I, I will never reach out to anybody and ask them if they would like a reading or need a reading. Um, I, you basically come to me. So if you ever want a private session, you go to my website and um, that is how my readings are done. Or you call my business number, which is different than the number you use to call in for the show. Um, there are quite a few people out there that are making fake accounts, not only of me, but of many, many people. And these fake accounts will have my name and... Um, um, seem like it is me. It is not. That is not me. So I'm going to tell you to um, please don't respond to anybody that reaches out to you on any social media platform. Okay. If you would like a session with me, my um, my uh, website is uh, t-o-n-i-g dot i-n-f. Oh, okay. Now, <clears throat> I will be taking callers. If you would like to call in, the number is 845-277-9131. When you connect, if you want to ask a question or connect with a loved one, push the, the one on your keypad. And I will be going through callers and um, taking uh, questions and or connections. If I do call out your area code, please have an exact question or connection available for me just so we can get through as many people as possible today. Um, I do wanna thank everyone who is joining us here today. I'm really grateful for you being here. So over the past couple of shows, I've shared just a little bit of what you might want to do, uh, like, you know, getting therapy animals such as chickens and pigs, because we can't own livestock, or get quails, because quails can, you can have a quail in your, if, even if you have an apartment or a home, you, it, you can keep a quail indoors. And if you get the male and the female, they will lay lots of eggs. And I guess Quail meat is good. I don't know. I've not had it. My what you might well, um, what you might want to do for this show is if you do live near wild animals, turkey, boar, deer, you might want to start feeding them in your backyard um, for many many reasons. I saw a <clears throat> post or a video the other day that said that. Um, they are thinking of taking out, I think it was either trout or perch, and I'm sorry, I don't know the exact, if anybody else saw this or knows about this, please um, comment in the chat so I can get some of my facts straight. But supposedly some of our fish are diseased and they're going to take them all out and put in their own. No. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No. No. Mm -mm. Just saying no. Anywho, you might want to go to where you can fish and uh, get some uh, fishing done, fish and freeze. If you do hunt, you have that hunting license, you might want to go where you can hunt, get a group together and go hunt. Anyway, just, I mean, just thoughts, just thoughts. Just thoughts. Okay, here we go. I am going to go to the, uh, oh, uh, Heather, the random person from YouTube says, quail is yummy. Um, it's a very tender meat. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much, Heather, for sharing that. Um, on YouTube right now, we have Heather Fawn. Um, 
Jira, Jira, Jira. I'm so sorry, O'Brien. I'm so sorry. I don't know how to pronounce that. Please forgive me. Um, Genevieve and Amy. Hey, Amy and Genevieve. I love you guys. Um, I love all of you so much. Um, and again, hi, Caroline. Um, if you would like to, if you do have a question and you would like to ask that question, please call in. Um, 845-277-9131. I will be going through the call log, getting to as many people as possible today. I will take one exact question or one connection if you want to connect with somebody on the other side. Please tell me the first name of that person and their relationship to you and um, a, a, any uh, conversation you would have or any information you would have wanted to know from that person. Okay, here we go. First caller. 407, 407, how are you today? Hey, hello, how are you doing? Good, what's your name, where are you calling from? Uh, my name is Linda, I'm calling from North Carolina. Hey, um, so I was wondering if I could connect with my mom. Uh, her name is Rosina, and I did have a specific question for her, okay. <clears throat> just because she... Um, uh, if she is able to let me know, she wanted to be buried with a necklace, and we couldn't find the necklace because I'm assuming somebody had taken it. So I don't know if she wants me to find it or not <laughs> for her. Um, I, you know what? I think you are correct. Um, I do believe somebody, as soon as you said, because somebody had taken it, I heard yes. And when you said, <clears throat> does she want me to find it? I'm hearing a no. I'm going to say, <clears throat> excuse me, the necklace may be misplaced, but if it is misplaced, it's going to be a challenge to find, and she doesn't care anymore. That was something that her human human self wanted, but her spirit self really doesn't care. Um, she's not, um, okay. like, I don't want to say not needing that, but um, she would rather that when or if you find it, you keep it as a memory or momentum, a momentum of a memento, memento of memory for yeah. you guys. So that is that is what I'm hearing. I don't believe it's it's she could. I'm just hearing. Oh, I could just care less. I could just care less. Um, so don't worry about that. Um, that is what she is saying. Okay, love. Yeah. Can she direct me to where it would be? Uh, no. No. <laughs> I'm, I'm not. Honestly, I'm not seeing that. I'm not getting that right now. I'm seeing what I think the necklace okay. is. I think the necklace is a very thin. Um, it's very dainty. It's very a very thin chain. I'm seeing a very thin chain, and I'm seeing what I think is the the thing on it and I I don't uh -huh. I can't make out what the thing on it is but I'm going to tell you uh no no uh and and not yet not yet and she is saying this and I'm going to tell you this and I I'm sorry if I'm misunderstanding this but she's saying you're not listening to me you're not listening to me um so <laughs> So I'm going to tell you whatever that means between you and her is whatever that means between you and her. But she really doesn't. Um, don't don't go out of your way. When the time is right, it will just be found. OK, love. OK. Thank you so much for okay. calling in. I right. look I, I hope that it does just pop up for you. And I I am sorry for your loss. I'm so, so sorry for your loss. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you for checking that out with her. With her. I'm sorry. I'm watching my granddaughter here. Sorry. Oh, no, <laughs> so no. I worries. really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Absolutely. My pleasure. I am going to go directly to the the next caller who is um, 443. Yes. Hi. How are you? Good. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Calling from Baltimore, hey, Ashley, Maryland. How can I help you today? 
Um, I recently went through a divorce and um, my husband is seeing somebody new, but I have this, um, like this, this sickening uh, feeling and I just want to know, like, are my kids in danger? Is this situation safe or do I have this feeling for a reason? Um, oh, that's a big question. Um, give me a second. What's just, I just need your ex-husband's first name. Steven. It's a PH. Okay. Give me just one second. You know what? I'm just going to say the feeling you're feeling is his energy. He feels, yeah. Okay. I just need to back up off that. Oh, Okay, so some people, when they go through something like a divorce or a breakup or they, they whatever, their energy can turn really toxic and literally make you feel nauseous. Um, they can make you feel very, yeah. like you're literally, like I tapped into his energy. And this is not about him. This is just his energy at the time. It makes me feel like I'm literally going to puke. Like I can feel it in my throat. It's very icky. So the feeling you're feeling is legit. It's a legit feeling. I don't think it's a feeling that has anything to do with your um, children being in harm. I think this is just his, his very, very, I'm even going to go so far as to say angry energy right now. He's very, yeah, because my body just wants to shake right now. And like my hands are, he's like very, 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 um, I just have to get out of his energy. Holy balls. Yes, it's horrible. He is very, very um, unsettled. And what I'm going to do for him, which I'm actually doing for your children, oh, is I'm going to clean up his energy. So him, um, it, I'm going to start with taking out, I, for, for, for him, for you, for everybody listening, watching, re-listening, re-watching. Let's clean all the toxic anger energy for you and anybody you care about. Let's get that out. Um, yeah, I, I'm going to go with that's what you're picking up. And I. it doesn't matter why he's that way. We don't need to go into that. The fact that he is that way is just what it is right now. Um, and the fact that he is just is what it is whatever um what i am going to tell so he, you he moved this girl he moved this girl into the house literally three months after we divorced and introduced our kids but the girl has been receiving threats as well from her exes or whoever it is i don't even know who it is i've been getting anonymous things i'm just worried and i want to make sure i'm not being overly you know cautious or like I'm not trying to be vindictive or control his life I just really want to make sure the situation is okay um and and I know that he is angry I can feel that as well but I wasn't sure if she is also just not good um for this either it doesn't okay so here's what I'm going to say and I'm sorry I have to say it this way but please um listen to this and then re-listen to it after the show today because I think um here's the thing it's not that you want to control the situation and I understand that but we can't no matter who our exes get with um we don't have any say so in that we can't like no matter how right. legitimate our concern is we really can't um it, 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 sometimes we can't even vocalize it now, the fact that she is receiving threats, unless you have documentation of that or proof, like literal show it in court proof, there's nothing you can do about this. So what I'm going to say is I do feel like whatever is going on with her, they are trying to take care of it and they are trying to be very practical and safe about it with whatever that situation is. Are your children safe mm -hmm. with 
him while they're with him. It, you know, I up from I, I have there to ask. Can. I have to ask the question just a little bit differently. So give me a second here while I figure out the, how about if sure, we just sure. do a clearing that your children will always be safe when they're with him and or her. Let's do that. Her children will always be safe when they're with him and or her. Let's clear that because safe can mean like one of them trips and falls and like scrapes up their knee. Um, safe can be a number of different things. Um, in a number of different ways. So let's just clear that they're just always safe when they're in what when, when they're with them. And that will be the, the healthiest um, thing we can do. Um, remember, your children have angels also that are there to protect them. So whenever they walk out the door, just make sure you're directing their angels to keep them safe and protected. Um, and, and again, I know in, if I were in your shoes, I would be livid. I would be upset. I would think how irresponsible we can't, but we have to understand we can't control what other people do. So even this girl he's seeing, if other people are threatening them, why, why ever they're being threatened, that's not really important the fact that somebody is making a threat that's not um the risk the, like if somebody threatens me that's that's not on me that's on that person that's their low level of character and behavior and i can't be held responsible for somebody else threatening me so in this case they can't be held responsible for other people threatening them unless they're actively doing things that are inciting the threat. So all we can do is make sure the children are protected. And he is doing his, I feel, even though his energy is very angry and probably because of everything going on, I feel that he, his children are a priority and he is trying to protect everything. Um, and I know that that's not exactly what you want to hear right now. And um, I know that you want to hear, don't send your children. But even if I said that, that's just not an option. So we're just going to uh, try to do our best to clear any harm from coming to them at any time they're in the presence of these people. Okay, love? Yes. Um, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> um, I just have to release that and just keep praying over them. Um, Absolutely. And pray the situation. Do you see if we will co-parent better, though, eventually? Yes. Um, in about a month and a half, things are going to calm down a bit. And in about a, that's a really good question. Thank you for asking that. And let's do a clearing for you and anybody else who is separated and or divorced that they're trying to co-parent and it's just um, not going well. Uh, uh, co-parenting is... Um, healthy. I'm getting a no. Let's clear that. Oh yeah. That comes from like that, that, that place between the rib cage, um, which is all fear. So what I'm going to say in about a month and a half, you're going right. to notice a huge difference in the way the two of you co-parent. And um, I think that's because a lot of pressure on his end is going to be lifted. Um, and the threat is going to be gone. Um, if you want to have a conversation with him about the threats, you cannot do it in a threatening way. You have to do it in a way of, Hey, I heard this is going on. I'm really sorry. What can I do to help? And what is being done on your end? Um, come at it. Like you're trying to be helpful, not adding more to it, because if you come at it, like you're adding more to it, he's going to get defensive and shut down. If you want to really know what's going on, you have to come at it. Like you're trying to be helpful and work with him to be a part of it. Uh, the solution rather than part of the problem, even though you're not, and we can't always control how we go and talk to somebody or how we, Say something because your emotions are valid and important also. So what I'm going to say to you, sweet girl, 
I think in a month and a half, the co-parenting is going to get a lot better. A lot of the pressure is going to be relieved and you're going to be much happier. But for this next month and a half, just breathe through it the best that you can. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. You are so welcome. And uh, we will all be saying prayers for you and for your children. And I'm so sorry that you're going through what you're going through. Um, thank you so much. Thank you. You are welcome. And thank you so much for calling in. Um, I am here every Monday and Wednesday um, at noon central time. So if you don't get through today, you can get through. Um, try again on Monday. The, the secret to being one of the first callers is to call 15 minutes before the show starts. Um, then you're one of the top callers on the list. And I get to those people first. So let's um, go to the um, the next caller. I want to say hi to Jessica. Jessica, hey, <laughs> how are you? Um, I'm so happy to see that she's able to watch the show today. Jessica and I are starting a TikTok station. <laughs> Is it called a TikTok channel? A TikTok channel called Live Beauty Reviews. Um, <clears throat> L-I-V-E dot beauty dot reviews and we're just going to be reviewing all kinds of beauty uh, products and tools and everything um so you can follow me uh, on that and then when i start doing and she starts doing them they will be uploaded there for sure um and i'm gonna be honest if there are products i don't like i'm gonna say i don't like them I'm going to be like, yeah, no, don't waste your money on this. <laughs> Not at all. But if I do love a product, um, I'll leave a link so you can get the product. But I am going to be 1 million percent honest. And also on my other um, TikTok channel it, at Psychic Tony, there are lots of you might want us. And there are lots of healings and clearings on there. So I would I would absolutely recommend you go check those out. I'm going to go to 908 next. 908, how are you? What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, good afternoon, uh, Tony. This is Caroline. How Hi. are you? <laughs> it's so good. Oh, my Hi. goodness, Caroline. How are you? Oh. I am terrific as well. This rolling along the second day of summer. <laughs> Right? It's gorgeous now. I'm loving it. How can I help you, beautiful? Well, today I have, uh, I'm going to change my line of questioning. We're going to go a little more fun. Okay. I would love to speak to my mom. Uh, her name is Lucinda. I would love to hear from her. It's been a long time. And I have a special question for her. Okay, go right ahead. Well, I believe that at night, lately, in my dream time, that I'm working very hard in another planet. And I have a, a, a connection with my mom. And this is, a, I have the actual planet name. It's called Alpha Centauri. And I'm just wondering if there was a connection that I felt sometime within the last two weeks very strongly that I got up one day and I said, why am I so tired? I feel like I've been working in my sleep. <laughs> you have so, fun. <laughs> you fun? I'm telling you, things just happened to me that were just like, let's just say, out of this world, magic, you know, and I'm blessed. But um, I, I would love to hear from my mom. Okay. So I yeah. missed her then. The first thing I hear is this is true. You have been, um, you know, there's this statement, is our dream state our real world or is this our real world? Who knows? Maybe they're both our real worlds. Maybe we live in dual realities and we will work on both planes. I I don't call Earth a planet. I call it a plane when I'm tra cha tra channeling. Um and there yeah. are many, many different planes. Um, so there are planes that are higher than us, lower than us, and all around us. 
And all of these planes have um, different purposes and reasons for being with different types of no different levels of different levels of life is the statement they're giving me. So in our sleep, we can travel to any of these planes. And sometimes people call it astro traveling. And sometimes we go to a plane, yeah. the plane where our loved ones are, and we start working with our loved ones to help them and they help us. Um, right now for everybody listening and everybody that will be watching this, our loved ones are coming in very strong through our our dreams and our um, sleep time and even in our awake time to help us to keep keep things going the way they're supposed to be going. I'm going to tell you that uh, everybody should be um, at least aware of that. Even if you don't remember your dreams, they are happening. You are having them. And they, they, we are working in other areas. And right now, many of us are working triple time. And this is why we're so tired. Even We can sleep and sleep and just still be so tired or wake up really rejuvenated yeah. because we went to a higher love a uh, frequency planet or plane and then we yeah. we come back and we're like so rejuvenated and feel amazing this is also why our sleep time yeah. can be like we slept for two hours and it felt like we slept for 20 or we slept for 13 hours and it felt like we slept for five moments this is why this is going on yeah. for us and we we need to be aware of that and just know that whatever we're doing in those other planes is just as important as what we're doing here. So thank you so much. And she wants to tell you, keep up the good work. Don't give up your progress. Keep keep progressing. Keep progressing. Don't give up your progress. And and don't um, hmm, don't falter. I, I wouldn't see that coming. Well, she says you know how she means that. Like don't don't uh, don't put it aside for too long stay steady on the course okay caroline okay beautiful thank you this has been lots of fun i thank my mom you know i love her so oh. much and uh it's amazing the connections that we have <laughs> thank you yes you are so welcome and she loves you too and she wants you to know she's going to keep being there during your sleep time so don't uh don't don't uh don't worry, she's not going any place. Until Monday, have an absolutely fabulous um, weekend. I look forward to Monday. And thank you so much again for taking the time to be here with me today um, and joining me. I love each and every one of you so very, very much. Until next time.